Hello, my beautiful darlings. I am going to do something that I've been promising for a very long time. I'm going to show you how to do a Celtic spread reading for yourself or for another. Um, I can't remember. I'm so sorry the people that have asked, but it's been mentioned so many times. So I'm going to do an overhead filming of how to do a Celtic spread, okay, or a Celtic cross spread. Um, I will show you a quick short um, ways to do short readings as well but we shall do that. So let me just move the camera and we can get on with showing you how to do the spread. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, here we go, my little fluffies. First of all, when you're doing yourself or someone else's reading, check that every single card is the right way up, okay? So that there's no way that any, any card that's inverted or reversed hasn't happened because you've left the card upside down, okay? So can you see that okay? Right, so I've checked that, it's absolutely brilliant. Then if you're doing your own reading, or you're doing it for someone else, this is what I normally get them to do, is I literally cut the cards in three and then put them like this, after they've shuffled and asked their question. Okay, that's if you're having a reading from somewhere else. If it's you, basically, I'm going to say, I would like to do a reading for everybody that's watching this, a general reading to help assist people. Thank you. So that's the first card that's popped out. This is going to be placed right in the middle. Okay, and this is what is going on at present. Okay, what is presently happening what is the energy happening now? As you can see, I'm using my QR tarot cards. So if you want to learn the tarot, you basically go to my website and there you'll see a link to Amazon. All right. You have to go through my website um, and that will give you a direct link. And if you can see there are QR codes, one on the top, which is me giving you a, a video of the upright version of the card. And the one at the bottom, Victoria, will be giving you a video on the... Um, reversed okay most easiest and most worldly unique way to learn tarot ever um i'll talk about the 10 hour tarot course in a minute because that is going to get you reading tarot in 10 hours i'll tell you that now um but let's get on with this just to show you the reading so now i'm asking for what hinders the next card is what hinders now you're going to get a lot of readers that read differently lay the cards differently i've got different meanings for different positions this is what i've learned from a child and this is what i've stuck to so don't care what other people think this is how i read my cards okay so the next position will be what is hindering or what is going against the person's current energy okay so i just wait for it to poke out or i instinctively think i'm gonna have that card or it will just literally fly out okay so just keep what is hindering this situation be patient because the powers that be could be waiting for the card to come up all right so just be patient what is hindering the collective what is hindering my darlings in the tribe thank you i know it's that one so we've got present what hinders it the next position is what is the overlying energy what is the energy the circumstances that is creating everything that's going on at the moment okay so it's what energies are around the person oh my god there's too many come out there okay right that one's poked up so that one goes in the top bit this is the influencing card over the whole energy the next one for me is subconscious what is going on in the subconscious of the person thank you okay turn it that way rather than that way so that's what's subconsciously going on in the person's mind or your mind because you're doing it for yourself aren't you i'm actually doing it for you that's past position what has happened in the past that is creating some implementation to the future okay, look let's get my oh my god where's that gone Get my flying saucer. Put that there. That's better. 
Next card is the near, did that just poke over? Yes, if it flips over like that, the near future. Sorry, I meant it the other way. You don't turn them over, you turn them across, okay? So that's near future. The next card is advice to the reader. Advice to the reader, okay? The next card is what is happening beyond the control. It's going to happen anyway, beyond the control of the reader. Thank you. The next card is the hopes and fears of the reader. Hopes and fears. So the next card is the potential outcome. The potential outcome. Okay. Now, if I feel that I need to clarify anything or I need to give a couple more affirmations for potential outcome, I will. It's your reading. Let your intuition win it. Okay, so let's have a look what we got. This is the present position that you may find yourself in. This, you know, take what resonates, um, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading just to show you how Celtic cross spread works. Okay, so this is choosing your battles wisely. This is watching. There may be a situation you're in at the moment where there's been a bit of conflict or there's been opposing views, okay, with other people, and you've perhaps just gone in a bit too tough. You might have just said something that you regretted or you might have um, upset people and they've just gone, do you know what? I don't want to know anymore. You know, at the end of the day, you should respect that we've got different opinions. So, you know, you didn't have to do that. So if there's anything that you're regretting at the moment that you've like you've done or there's anything, one, get over it. Or two, if there needs to be any apologies or, you know, bridges to be built, then we'll see if that needs to be done. Sometimes you are right to actually stand there and stand your ground. But this card sometimes says that you've peed people off just a bit too much. I don't know if you can see that really clearly. Um, I don't know if I can bring that in any closer. Um, but that's the Five of Swords, okay? So you may have gone a bit too far in a conflict or... Um, in a misunderstanding all right now this is a card that is also maybe hindering this situation or has created this situation the emperor someone has been too controlling okay someone's been too controlling or has tried to manipulate a situation right if it's you own up to it and do what you need to do to make amends it could be that someone else has created it so if you've you know outspoken against someone that's a bully or a controller or a manipulator then perhaps you, it needed to be said it's up to you to decide what um what needs to be addressed with this conflict now the emperor normally is a very strong um, leadership um, role of a really you know mature man however because it's on the the conflict or the reversed or the hindered position it means the reversed version of the emperor okay so someone's been bullying is it you you need to take a step back if you're trying to control a situation that is creating a lot of kickback you really need to rethink it. However, if you're the victim of it, right, you need to come away from it, basically. Something has been done where someone has just taken it a bit too far. And it's not good. It's not good. Okay, what's the, what is your influencing energy or card around your whole situation at the moment? Right, for me, because we're talking about a conflict situation and this is a lover's card these are this is someone that you should be trusting or loving or someone that's got your back it's a mutual love connection there should be duality going on around you and that's what you're trying to fight for or the other person's trying to fight for okay so the cups is all about emotion so there's there's been some upset or something that's gone on and i don't know if people are digging their heels in or not but this is definitely around emotions and family or loved ones around you it doesn't feel this this is a work thing this is people that you should be respecting or they should be respecting you okay because it's the cups that are emotions and it's let's the two of cups it's, it can be the lovers so it could be your spouse um loved one but also it can incorporate because it's emotional it can incorporate anybody that's close to you with love it doesn't have to be a spousal connection your subconscious what are you feeling about this this might give me a clue as to whether you are the naughty one or you are the victim of it 
this situation is like a bloody nightmare. Whatever is going on, it's not going anywhere because everybody's, what did I say? Digging their heels in. The hanged man is basically, sign of Taurus, this is someone that is like <sighs> creating opposing forces. Like there's a, there's, a sand, there's a line in the sand and no one's like, you know, adhering the lines that are drawn out. Um, it just feels like it's a static situation. Nobody's winning. There seems to be a lot of ill feeling. There needs, or there's confusion. I feel like if this makes sense to you, you really need to either decide to back away and not have it or start communications to get this moving again because there is something that's remaining stuck in your life at the moment that needs to be dealt with because otherwise you're just going to sit in this conflict and the wrong word's going to be said. It's just a bloody nightmare. In the past, what's happening in the past? In the past, you are victorious. Okay, so, you know, I wonder if you are connected with someone that's been a bit difficult, a bit narcissistic -y, a bit controlling, um, or it could be a situation that, you know, has, has made you feel like you've got no choice. But you have been victorious in the past in dealing with this. So you're obviously a very good communicator or someone that knows how to be a mediator. This could be happening in your near family and you're wondering whether to get involved to try and bring the peace, if that makes sense. But it, you have dealt with this in the past and smashed it. So remember that if you are the victim of this at the moment, do what you did before because you've done it in the past under the Six of Wands. Okay, near future. Near, oh my god shut the front door this is really intense christ you got the eight of cups this is walking away because it's just you can't do it anymore if any of you are in a situation where there is someone trying to control you manipulate you bully you um they're trying to coerce you into what they want rather than you lead your life or it's a job or it's someone that's you know really making really riding your back you need to walk away from this situation you've done it before you can do it again this is just there's nothing serving you for your greater good and for the benefit of your own emotions and your intuition is telling you you've got to walk away you've got to say do you know what we're not getting anywhere with this no matter what i say what i do you're not listening. You're not taking it on board. I can't do this anymore. I'm done. You have got to start this year off as you mean to ca carry on. Because if you don't make any actions towards whatever this conflict or bad feeling is, it's not going to go away. It's going to stay the same. And you are going to continually be battered around because of the ego of whoever this is creating your problems. Okay. So advice card. king of pentacles the advice card is that the king of pentacles is very very centered he's got everything he could possibly want materially he's well balanced he's got enough money in the bank he's got his home his life his family everything is at a brilliant equilibrium it's a brilliant card for um as i say security stability home money career it's all sorted right so the advice is concentrate on what is good for you concentrate on the love security of your home your career your financial well-being you know if if you are financially dependent on this person so what you will be again just walk away from it you, what, what do you want money or misery it's your choice i just feel like to get what you want you need to make change with someone that's trying to control you okay right okay this is beyond your control oh my god Jesus, someone has really, they've either betrayed you or they've lied about you or they've lied about situations around something to manipulate it to make you feel differently about it. It's just, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Okay, so the good thing is, is if you do make the decision of movement, which is near the walking away card, okay, then it you know you've come 10 is the end of a journey so it's end of that difficulty right this can also you know mean perhaps someone that's got an addiction or someone that's got like a mental health illness or something like that that you just can't cope with anymore because they're not helping themselves whatever it is um it is coming to an end if you start making movement and that's great because that's a card that's beyond your your control so it's going to happen anyway Right, but that you can make it go speedier if you make decisions, but you're coming to an end of this. 
but you really do make need to make decisions to speed it up to get to the king of pentacles hopes and fears oh my god you couldn't make it up if you tried you hoping that you can recreate a new life that you can create abundance that you can create new plans new um growth nurturing your life nurturing yourself around you the empress is the sacred and divine feminine it's one of those strong cards of regrowth rebirth it could even be that you're with someone who doesn't want kids and you do and you know you find you're going to go and find someone that does want children does want family whatever it is you're hoping that you can manifest all this new growth for yourself because you're tired and you're worn out okay um you fear that if you don't make movement or you stay in this energy with all of this shite going on nothing's going to move nothing's going to come into fruition nothing's going to blossom there's going to be nothing new happening here you fear that you know perhaps also if you do make the change you're not going to have all of this you know you might think god if i leave or if i break this situation i'm going to be worse off i don't think so because i think the universe will um, reward you for your braveness or make, wanting to make change okay and then potential outcome you are battle weary you've had enough okay i don't know if you're a really strong empath and you've put up with someone for a long time or a situation for a long time and you're trying to understand them and where they're coming from but it's not up for you to do that all the time this is the biggest problem that empaths do OK, so what you need to be doing is sort of saying, do you know what? Enough's enough now. Enough's enough. Can't do this anymore. Because you are mentally, spiritually weary and possibly, you know, emotionally and physically. You've had so many battles with this person. It's time to just say, I'm, I'm done. And if they don't respect that or acknowledge it, then that gives you your answer straight away, doesn't it? No more. Okay? So that's it. If you want to do clarifiers, you can using the cards um, at the top of the deck. Sometimes if you want to see an underlying story, look, there you go. If you don't take on board this card, everything could potentially come crashing down on you. You've got to take action. So sometimes your intuition will say, look at the below cards or it could just say right do another clarifier on the end cards look jesus christ look so you've got look the eight of wands coming in swift communication if you swift communication connecting emails whatever it is i'm not doing this anymore thank you very much goodbye over and out and then that creates all of this lovely abundance that you want okay so my darlings for the people that asked i hope that helps um Sometimes when I want a quick reading on something, I ask a question in my head. Right, it's just gonna be random. So I go blah 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 blah. One, right, that's the past. Two, that's my that's my current position and that's my future. Thank Christ it actually look, three of hearts ain't great, isn't it? Um but um it's just a show. So I would say, right, that's my past, that's my present, that's my future. Perhaps you could add a couple more on there, okay. And they and then they'll come up. I didn't put any intent into the card, so these are just totally random. They don't make sense to me at all. Um, but they would do if I was shuffling them properly. Okay, or if you want to, you could do past, um, present, near future, advice, outcome. It's as simple as that. Now, darlings, if you want to learn the tarot, because it is a beautiful thing to know, once you've learned the basics, you can read any card anywhere okay um so we've created these tarot cards as i say that will help you because you can use your smartphone to link on if you just hang on in there i'm going to add some videos to show you the innovative most unique most unique thing you're ever ever going to do it doesn't exist anywhere on the planet and it's a 10 hour tarot course um basically what happens is is you get 10 hours um, of tutoring, knowledge checks, demonstrations like this, definitions, how to implement mediumship into it, how to implement, implement zodiac energy into it with me, Vicky and Paula. Get over to my website, get into the shop and have a look at the 10 hour tarot course because there'll be more details there and enjoy the video which is just about to be added on. Take care my darlings, lots of love.
Learn the tarot in our interactive, fun, modern and engaging video tarot course. In just 10 hours with 10 hour tarot from psychic.co.uk. Stop reading page after page of text on other tarot courses and immerse yourself in 10 hour tarot today.